But to cut to the chase, the, um, the journey began in this very amnesic tabula rasa, empty slate, uh, in what I call the earthworm's eye view, a primitive course, unresponsive realm, like being in dirty jello. Uh, I actually have very strong memories of roots or blood vessels all around me in this. Even though I had no body sense or body awareness at any time, I was a speck of awareness. So I could kind of record things as they went. Uh, and this ugly earthworm eye view realm was very foreboding. Um, uh, and it was also very unresponsive. Even though I had no words or language, I could still have curiosity. You know, what, how, where? And there was never any kind of flicker of response to that. And I'm sure that given the damage to my brain, I was not marking time and recording anything. So it seemed to go forever. It seemed like this was an eternal existence with no memory of any other past. So as much as it sounds frightening, given a complete lack of remembering any other possibilities, it was just the way things are. So uh, I soon learned to just kind of go with that flow. The good news is it did not last forever. I was rescued by this slowly spinning pure white light uh, that came towards me out of this murky uh, depths of, of darkness of that earthworm eye view. And this uh, spinning uh, light had uh, fine silvery and golden tendrils off of it. And it came with a perfect musical melody. And that was very important because a lot of my work since then has been about music, sacred acoustics, all of, of, of how music can serve as a, a vehicle to allow our souls to traverse those spiritual realms. And in fact, that spinning melody of light was a portal. It opened up into this brilliant ultra real gateway valley. Now it had a lot of earth-like features. I was a speck of awareness on a butterfly wing. There were millions of other butterflies. They were all swooping in these vast formations. And below us was this incredibly lush meadow, absolutely filled with life, no signs of death or decay anywhere. I remember all the plant life, everything was very lush green, all the flowers, buds, blossoms on trees, every bit of it was very dynamic opening. I can remember the textures of all that. Uh, one of the things that's so hard to describe about being in those realms is our modes of knowing are very different and more expansive than in this realm. In this realm, I can see with the eyes, all that information gets filtered in my brain. I can hear with the ears, a uh, sense of touch and all that. And you put together kind of a working model of things. Um, in that world, we learn through identification. We become vast swathes of the universe as part of the lessons that we're being taught. And so I would become big parts of the scene around me, all as a way of coming to be, uh, understand it more fully. Uh, and so in that gateway valley with all that lush life, beautiful waterfalls and the sparkling blue pools, um, there were thousands of beings down below, souls as I call them, between lives, dancing, lots of joy and merriment. There were children playing and dogs jumping, incredible festivities. And it was all being fueled because up above, in this ultra real valley, far more real, meaningful and powerful and vibrant and alive than anything I'd ever seen. And in that setting, I remember all of these uh, souls dancing and it was because up above were these swooping orbs, angelic choirs that were emanating anthems and chants and hymns that were just thundering through my awareness and completely enlivening this incredible scene that was unfolding all around me. 